Hello everyone and welcome to today's video now. Today I'm going to be, I guess, starting, um, I guess, these Overwatch League teams previews or, you know, like coming up to um, the 2022 Overwatch League season. I'll be giving out my thoughts on each of these teams and uh, when that's all done, I will then do a power rankings of the regions and the full Overwatch League teams, I guess. So it'll be the regions, so west and east, and then it'll be both regions combined. Yeah. I'll give my thoughts on which one, like, who I think is going to win. So, the series will start off with the San Francisco Shock. Obviously, our two-time champions, 2019 and 2020 champions. They have changed a lot in their roster. Uh, so this is what their their squad is as of right now. So you got Violet and Finn on the on the support. I should probably do this so we can that makes it easier. So you got Kilo, Proper, and Sam as the DPS. You got Violet and Finn on the on the support and Kaluj as the tank. Uh, so they only kept Violet from last year's roster and they've added uh, Kilo, Proper, and Finn at the same time. They added Sam later, and then as of recently, as the uh, as the 28th of March, they got Kaluj. Why did they get Kaluj, you may ask? Well, super retired. Super retired from Professional Overwatch. Uh, Troy Urban also retired from Professional Overwatch. FD God has now gone to Team Peps, which, uh, which is um, an all-glass Overwatch team. Uh, Glissa has gone to the Paris Eternal. Nero has joined the Atlanta Reign. Tyo has joined uh, Zeta Division as a streamer. Twilight has joined the Toronto Defiant. Ars has joined the LA Gladiators. Smurf has joined Soul Dynasty. And Striker has joined the Boston Uprising. Uh, so, those are, uh, so those are the former players who joined, who left the team. As for the coaches, no, no changes here. Uh, then I guess... Is by uh, I guess you could say by Zenith and Agape. I guess you could say those two um, left the team. Uh, Crossy and Cesarus, I think that's how you say his name. Uh, they will be staying with the team, and 9K has rejoined them to become their assistant coach. Obviously, 9K used to be in the Philadelphia Fusion. Didn't really work uh, stuff out there, but he has been um, with the team. I think in 20 when when did he when did he, so he joined 2018 and left in 2019. Uh, well, at the end of 2019, so 9K is obviously very, uh, he's very, very successful, especially uh, in the Shock, as he was part of the 2019 um, championship for the Shock. Um, really excited to see how he goes now in this year's San Francisco Shock. I feel like they're gonna be a little bit weaker, um, maybe even exactly the same as they were last uh, last season, um, but maybe expect some big things. So let's have, just have a look at their roster. So Kilo, Proper, and Sam. That's a pretty decent DPS lineup. But I guess I'll also give a rate now ten. Kind of what um oh, this is an Overwatch League. How much I follow? I think Overwatch League. I I think it's called the Owl News. If I remember correctly, I can't remember. But he does does like, like these rankings. Um, all these rankings. Um, but it's just kind of similar to it. So I'll just give you know my DPS supports and tanks out of ten, and then. Um, you know, and then I'll give and I'll say which players to look out for for this for the season. So first off with the DPS, Kilo Proper used uh, came from O2 Blast. I cannot tell you where Sam came from. I think I'm gonna guess Redbird Esports. Yep, Redbird Esports. Yep. So he used to come from Redbird Esports, which is basically the best team in North America. It's basically American Tornado. Uh, that's a very good DPS lineup. I mean. Apparently, as what well, as, as I've been uh, hearing, especially on social media, Proper is a crackhead. He's absolutely crazy. Um, he's a crazy, crazy uh, flex player. Uh, Kilo is the hit scan, and Sam, I think, is also a, a flex player as well. Uh, so I'm really, really excited about this, and I, let me just get my Epic pen out, just to make it a bit easier. Um, but this DPS core, really, really good. I think definitely the strongest. Uh, which is why, out of 10, I'm going to give them an 8. I'm, I'm going to give a DPS an 8, I should please say DPS. Um, I think, I mean, the reason is just because, obviously, all these three have been rookies. All, all these three players, rookies. And I, I'm a bit skeptical if they actually, you know, they're going to do 
cr incredibly well, or are they just going to flop? That's what I'm a bit skeptical on. I'm, I'm a bit scared for the shock, uh, but I do have a lot of hope for them to actually do for them to do really, really well. Um, this is, the, I mean, it's legit the reason why they got these three players, because they did really, really good in scrims and practice, so they really want them in in the team, and I, I have a lot of high hopes for them, especially with Krusty, 9K, and Sazarus, uh, especially Krusty, actually, as he's obviously, the, he's a really good head coach, because he's won two championships with them, so he knows how to turn a team around from a midfield to a championship team. So, let's now move on to the supports, Violet and Finn. I don't know a lot about Finn, I'll be honest, but I know Violet is, is absolutely crazy, obviously he's been, in the, he's, he's been with the team since 2018. I think, um, I, I think he started, I think, 2019, I might be completely wrong, actually, but whatever. Um, uh, but, he has, he's a, he's a crazy flexible player. I think he's definitely one of the best flexible players in the league. Um, as for Finn, I don't really know a lot about Finn. I don't know if he's actually good or not. Um, uh, but I do think he's, but I do think he's going to do really well, really good, which is why I'm going to give the support lineup a 7. I don't know why my thing just changed. Um, but I think, oh god, <laughs> but I think, um, there we go. I think uh, supports are definitely a 7 out of 10. The real question is the tank. This is Kaluge we're talking about. Kaluge, I think also, uh, Kaluge came from Maribel Esports, uh, which is a university team uh, in Maryville, obviously. Uh, I don't know how how well he's been performing, but I've been t but I've been seeing that he, but on social media he's been performing pretty decently. Uh, not the best, but decent. Um, I'm a little bit scared that they are the only, but that Kaluge is the only tank player, and he's and he's an off tank. So I'm just skeptical on how he's on how you know they're going to put him on like actual like main tank shield characters like Ryan Hart or Risa or Winston. Uh, but I mean, Doomfist is also going to be a tank player that could, that could probably also you know play uh, play Roman Dad. I mean, he does he, he also plays some Sigma as well, so maybe they can work with that. Uh, but either way. I think this is, um, I think we're talking about the peak, I think this is a 7. I think the tanks, especially, uh, well, only Kaluge, that's a terrible K, I don't know what the hell that is. I think that's a 7. Uh, so, this is a very decent uh, DPS, um, a, a very decent um, squad um, for the San Francisco Shock. If we're now talking about the coaches, which I will be talking about the coaches, I think uh, the coaches, I think that's definitely a 9. I think coach as a whole looks really, really good. Krusty and Sazarus, they always have been with the team since, since a very, very long time. 9K is also back, and um, he obviously helped them to become 2019 champions. I'm really excited about this coaching lineup, um, and I'm expecting obviously big things from them. So... Let me so let me just repeat. Eight out of ten, in my opinion, for DPS. Seven out of ten for support, and seven out of ten for tank, and nine out of ten for the coaches. Uh, so that is really about it for the San Francisco Shock. The next one will be the Shanghai Dragons against our last year's champions. Oh, I should say last season's champions, and I have a lot more high hopes for them. Um, but yeah, that's really about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Catch you guys next time in the next one. Goodbye.